Combine the power of Elevate's cloud business phone system with Microsoft Teams to enhance your company's collaboration and customer engagement experience. This integration will enable users to place and receive calls directly from your Teams app with unlimited calling across North America, including Puerto Rico. Plus, you'll have access to these additional services through your Elevate control panel. In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up the Elevate for Microsoft Teams call to Teams integration. We'll cover basic requirements for the call to Teams configuration process, how to gather user SIP information for the integration, how to log into the call to Teams control panel to set up your Microsoft 365 account, how to configure the call to Teams service to link your Teams users to your Elevate phone system, and finally, how to test the integration by placing and receiving calls within Microsoft Teams. To configure call to Teams, you'll need administrative access to the following accounts, Elevate, Microsoft 365, and call to Teams. You'll also need to temporarily create an additional Microsoft 365 user license and have SIP credentials for existing Elevate devices ready. Now, we'll walk you through how to compile SIP information for your users. Log into your Elevate account and navigate to the Devices tab. Even if your users have an existing device, you'll need to create a new one for them to use this integration. So select Set up your own device and follow the steps you see here on this screen. Now remember, You'll need to repeat these steps for each user. Once new devices have been configured, you'll need to collect SIP credentials for each new device to configure the call to Teams service. To do this, follow the steps listed on this screen. We recommend using a spreadsheet or table to track this information. Now that you've collected the information needed, it's time to log into your call to Teams portal and provision your Microsoft 365 account. You should have received an email invitation to log into the Call to Teams portal when you purchased Call to Teams. Use your Microsoft 365 credentials to log in. When logging in for the first time, you'll need to give the Call to Teams portal permission to read and make changes to your Office 365 account. To configure the Call to Teams service, go to the Services tab. From here, you'll be able to set the integration between Elevate and your Microsoft 365 domain. To configure the Elevate phone system, you'll need to click Elevate from the drop-down menu, then fill out the rest of the page with the correct country and PBX SIP information for each user. Click Add PBX and then go to the Teams tab. From the Teams tab, click the Enable Services button. Next, you'll receive prompts from Call to Teams requesting additional access to configure your Microsoft 365 account. The first prompt requests access for Call to Teams to run the Elevate Voice PowerShell. The second prompt requests access for Call to Teams to configure Microsoft 365 users with the phone numbers you provided. Next, Call to Teams will begin the initial configuration. During this stage, Call to Teams will use the additional user license you created to enable your Microsoft 365 account to place and receive calls. The initial configuration may take several hours from the Microsoft side. During this time, users will be able to receive incoming calls but not make any outbound calls. Once the Sync Now button is complete, with the green check mark next to it, you will be ready to move on to the next step. It's time to configure Call to Teams for your users. You'll want to reference the spreadsheet or table of users you created earlier. To configure users, select the Users tab at the top of the portal. Here, you will see any existing users that have been created and an option to create a new user. You'll need to click the Add User button. You will see a list of users that are able to use this service. Select a user 
Then use the table or spreadsheet you created earlier in this process to fill out applicable information. Repeat this process for each user. Once you've created a user or group of users, click the Sync Now button to configure your Microsoft 365 users. Once users are set up, they will receive a notification to register with your service provider. A green indicator will show next to each user upon successful registration. If there's a problem with the registration, you'll see an error code here as well. Now that the call to Teams integration has been configured for your users, it's time for the final step, testing out the integration. Once fully configured, the Microsoft 365 phone system add-on will appear within Teams for each user under the Calls section. When users select the Call icon, they should see a dial pad with their phone number. Use Speed Dial to call someone in your organization, or use the Dial Pad feature to type in the phone number you wish to call, and then press the Call button. Now that you're set up with Call to Teams, head over to your Control Panel account to configure additional features like spam caller protection, automated call recording, hunt groups, and more.